Hi my dear students, welcome back. In this lecture here, I want to show you some tricks with something called hovers. All right, It's basically when we put a mouse over a certain element in the screen, we see something happening, right? And I want to show you that with CSS. So anyways, this is just extra courses, extra lectures that I'm making for you. Hopefully you'll like it and uh, you'll appreciate it. But anyways, let's go ahead and start doing this. So from the black.html, here let's do a save as and let's call this hovers.html right there is so much things that CSS has to offer and this is one of the things there that some of the features but there are so many so I'm just trying to give you some examples so that way you have a pretty good idea on the things that you can do all right I'm gonna try to always keep updating this course uh, to uh, add some new features so that way you guys can can get some experience all right so I'm just gonna name this title here hovers and I'm gonna make a diff here with an ID of hovers there we go hovers all right so what I want to do is I want to create a diff here and when I put my mouse over I want something to happen right so let's first style this diff and I'm going to open the browser there I'm gonna go back to styles.css and let's go ahead and play around with that diff right so the pound sign and hovers that's the name of the diff we're first gonna create a height and a width for it right so width of maybe 200 pixels I don't want it too big and height of 200 pixels that should be okay Let's put a border around it, even though I can still see it there. But if I refresh it, if I put my mouse over it here, all right, all right, it's not doing it right now, but it's a way that you could see that happening. But, anyways, I'm not that familiar with this co editor, by the way. I use Sublime Text, which is a more professional um, co editor, even though this co editor here uh, has been really re really well defined so there's a lot of people contributing to it but anyways so border one pixel solid uh, black so that way we can see the diff I like to create borders around my elements so that way I see them I'm gonna leave this on the side because I'm going to put another element right here on the right hand side all right or one beneath so now what I want to create is a hover effect on this div here so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now it's gonna be pretty cool so I'm gonna grab the ID here and I'm gonna put a colon here and I'm gonna say hover now this is gonna look super weird to you because you have never seen this this is called a pseudo, pseudo selector alright and now what I'm going to do is is I want to change the background of this when somebody hovers over it so background and I could say background color if I wanted to hyphen color and I'm gonna change this to black now if I refresh and I put my mouse over you can see that I changed the background over it alright you can find out all about pseudo selectors but that, know that we just need a, sem a colon here and the keyword hover to change that alright so look at this beautiful right and you can do this with any element you want as a matter of fact we can actually change the border alright when we hover over we can change any anything we want so let's change the red refresh and you can see that I not only when I hover over it changes the background but it changes the borders around too alright so we can have something inside let's say for example let's go to practice two and let's and I don't have actually is in hovers the HTML I don't have anything there so let's just put some words and say hey hey student it's gonna be black right so if I put my mouse over you won't be able to see it right so let's go back to it to style the CSS and I'm going to grab the h2 I'm gonna show you right now put it right here actually and then the H2 that's inside that hovers and I'm going to text align it to center and you can have some other things here text align it to center 
you can see that it just center out so that way we have it there but when I hover over it because I can't see it, I'm gonna change the color and when I put color by itself it's just gonna color any text that's in there you see this background this for the background we have to specify that we want to change the background for the text we just say text we just say color right so I want to change the color to white and you can put in something called hexadecimal and this is what I did here if you sometimes I I forget to explain some of the things that I do but this is called hexadecimal colors and I think I went over with you on that on how you can go and find a color picker online so you can come here online and type in hexadecimal or something like that hexadecimal hexadecimal colors all right I, I actually did that with you so you can go to color heads right here and you can take this color here if you want and you can put it right here all right but and remember it always has a pound sign that hexadecimal always has a pound sign and you can put three numbers or you can put six just like here they all have six that's a limit if you put more than that it does not work right so you can do that but for you know for demonstration purposes only I'm just gonna use the name white so when I hover over it I'm gonna change that text to white so that I can see it look at that so now I can see that text all right so like again you can do this to any element you want you can even put a picture here and you can change the opacity of the picture so let's go ahead and do that you want to do that we can we can actually go ahead and grab one of these pictures right here let me see if I can just put it right here let's play around with this a little bit there we go we got the picture there but the picture is too big for this right so we can say something like background so what I did you saw what I did I just copy it while I was here and pasted it in the hovers div that we have here alright so now let's change the size of that background oops I was changing this oops almost messed up my 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 element there so we're gonna say background background and I think it's a property here I don't see it there but I know there is background size there we go and background size is going to be a hundred percent and if you see that we have the image repeated many times inside right so what we want to do is we also want to use another property called background and hopefully you're getting a lot of knowledge right now background repeat all right and we are going to stop that repeating effect right now colon and then we're gonna choose no repeat right here no repeat oops I'm trying to do that automatic there we go semicolon and now if we do that now the image is gonna be there no repeat and it's gonna put it's gonna be a hundred percent of this div which is like that all right so now we could get that text out of there if we wanted to so that it doesn't look as bad as it does right now let's just comment this out for now and now we have that image inside there via CSS and it's taking a hundred percent of that let's go back to it and let's do something that I wanted to do is that we can change the opacity of this whole thing and opacity I'm trying to put as much information in your brain as possible so that way you can have an idea so the opacity we can change the opacity to actually 0 0.9 all right and it goes to 10 actually and 10 would be 1 and you can see it went down the color went down a little bit here let's do it to 5 you see that let's change let's comment this hover color out because I want to show you something so I'm gonna comment that out and you can see right now that that image opacity went down right so it's almost transparent what I want to do is I want to increase the, op the opacity when I hover over it so if I hover over this I'm gonna close this out here if I hover over this I want to increase the opacity to one that would be a hundred percent refresh you see that now if I put my mouse over I can see the whole image this is very useful when you want to tell the user you want to give the user an, indi an indication that they have to click on something look at that alright so hopefully in this video here I was able to show you 
a lot of information and all you can do if this was a lot of information for you rewind the video and look at it all I'm doing basically is using a bunch of different properties here alright for CSS and changing it changing the HTML document right here alright so look at the properties learn them practice them play around with them be creative and if you're not creative like me because I'm not that creative just practice and practice and play around with it you'll get better eventually alright so it was a pleasure like always thank you so much and I hope you like these practice exercises alright bye bye